Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here, and welcome to another retro gaming review. And now I'm bringing you Cisco Heat for the Commodore 64. Now, in preparation for this, I've had um, I've had a look at some footage of the original arcade version. And uh, it seems like you 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 uh, it looks like it's a police officer racing game from what I can make out. And and this, this is a Commodore 64 port I'm looking at. So. And I have to race against other computer controlled players in order to make it to the end of the race and I have to come first and the the game came out in the early nineteen nineties and and it got ported to many platforms and the Commodore sixty four version is the port I'm looking at for for this, so So let's get Um Okay. Well I've only just started playing and already I'm finding this game absolutely repulsive. I'm in position four. Look how look how badly animated everything is and that scenery in the background is, is not a very good rendition of a city skyline. It looks more like someone's just cobbled together a whole bunch of, um, of, of very basic uh, blocked graphics. I'm talking of blocked. Look how blocky all these cars are. And, all the, and with the exception of yours, all the cars look the freaking same. And look how blocky all those side, uh, side details are. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Spectrum version of Buggy Boy, in which they just had had one size of, say, lampposts and bushes and things, and just scaled it upwards. It looks every bit as bad as that. This is awful. And I can't seem to change gear either. Oh, yeah, that's it. Pressing the wrong button. This music's doing my my dick in as well. Oh God! I mean, look how look at this. It's awful. <laughs> Craply animated road. The cars look like they've got a you know got a solid. A solid block square around them. It's almost it's 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 un uncomfortably close to like a, when a Spectrum version has that around its sprites to protect it from color clash. Only this looks ten times worse than that. Well, I'm in position one. I just got to try and uh, and hold that. This is not in any way slick. What the hell? I didn't hit anything. Everything is, I mean, it's like you're, it's, it's, it's like you're watching a very badly animated flick book. Oh, this is. The original arcade version was um, had prop, had proper, had had proper road design and, and was like any other racer, like Outrun or Chase HQ. But if you want to. If you want to play a you know, play a game in which you're in which you're driving a police car, just pick Chase HQ, but not on the Commodore 64 because that version stank. Oh, I've got to turn right here. No, turn right. I didn't tell you to. Oh God. Fisherman's Wharf. So it seems like we. Oh, this is horrible. I came seventh in that. I mean, look at it. Why couldn't it have had proper road animation in, 
in stadium, it's it's like um, like different road sections have a set of view, and it's like a like a poorly animated flick book type thing with not enough frame rate. Major, look at that! Not exactly Don Bluth style animation, is it? I mean, even South Park's better animated than this. And that music is doing my head in. It's just the same really short loop being played over and over and over and over again. There's no engine noise. In fact, the only sound I can... Oh, flipping hell. The only sound I can see is... The only sound I, uh, I can hear is when you pass a vehicle. You know, that sort of... That, see that swishing sound? Oh god! You can never tell when you're gonna hit anything because everything's because uh, everything's uh, so choppy. It, it's like someone's taking a whole a whole stretch. Of, I didn't touch that. Oh god! It's not an impossible to tell when you're gonna hit anything because every because everything's so choppy and juddery. Which way was I supposed to go? It doesn't tell, seem to be telling me anything. Oh, this is this is arguably the ugliest driving game I've ever played. Everything about it is horrible. Turn. I am in a turn. Move! For some reason, I couldn't move for a brief moment. Right, so I need to turn right here. See? Oh, God, this is horrific. I just... I'm just aghast. I'm... I'm absolutely mortified by this. Checkpoint. This is... Uh, turn! I'm oh, great, I'm stuck in a bush. Oh yeah, this is really well programmed. I mean, who thought this was a passable product? Someone could probably write a driving game in basic and it would be better than this. YouTuber John Gage actually recommended that I give this uh, game a go. I'm going to see why. Because look at it. This is without a doubt the most broken driving game I've ever played. And where was I supposed to go? I didn't see anything telling me where to go. Everything's just jumping about all over the place. It's not so that cars don't come smoothly towards you in this. Oh, flipping hell. This is just a complete mess. I mean, it tells you what gear you're in, but it's, it's so unresponsive out of time. crashed. Alright, maybe not one. Alright. 
Well, look at it. I mean, it's like someone's done a really bad South Park animation. Let me tell you, I've actually seen some episodes of South Park featuring um, featuring driving animation, and even that looks better than this. It's all people saying stop, but A, you don't get to see it in time, and B, you, you, you don't always get told where you're meant to be going. Yeah, I've got a sign there, but I don't always get that. And how come they can continue on? Where am I meant to be going? Tell me where I'm meant to be going. What the hell was that? Oh, God, this is... This is a complete load of bollocks. I'm sorry, there's just no other way to put it. This is unconvincing. I mean, where am I supposed to go? Why aren't I moving? See, these stop signs just come out of nowhere and you get no time to react to them so you can turn. And even if you do turn, where are you meant to go? There's nothing, there's almost all, there's sometimes nothing telling you where you're meant to be going. Ugh. What? Oh, flipping balls. Position bonus. If it's a bonus, can I? Can it actually be a bonus pay? Because this is really painful. I deserve to get some kind of. Oh god! Again, a stop sign that just suddenly th gets thrown up in front of my face, and uh, and I don't get time to react to it. Switching between low and high gear is really unresponsive in this. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Oh, thank bloody hell! Where was the quality control in deciding uh, and who and and who exactly decided that this was marketable? Oh, this this is not convincing. It's it's choppily animated. Everything about it just looks awful. And it's that. that background is actually starting to get really boring now. Uh, this. Uh. Uh. I, I'm, I don't actually know what else to say about this. I mean, you, you can see for yourself that it's a complete load of cockadoo Position five. I'm sh I'm utterly shocked. Change gear, you flipping dinkler. I was pressing that gear change button several times and nothing happened. Oh, God. Oh, I can't be bothered to play this anymore. This is absolutely whack. And I... Uh, it's... I mean, check a flag on the Spectrum is more fun than this, and that didn't even have any uh, opposing racers. Oh, God. That's Cisco Heat on the Commodore 64. Possibly, possibly the worst driving game I've ever played. It, everything about it is just horrible and just makes you want to tear out your hair. It looks like it looks horrible. The the music is is horrible. The, the animation's horrible. 
the background's horrible and the actual gameplay itself is horrible. I'm going to give Cisco Heat on the Commodore 64 2 out of 10. I've, I'm, I just can't believe that this even exists. Thanks, Sir uh, John Gage, for uh, for suggesting that I give this a go uh, as a as a terrible game. Uh, it is indeed terrible. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, then uh, then uh, give it a look. I'll I'll include a link to it in the description for this video. But uh, apart from that, hope you enjoyed this review. I certainly didn't enjoy this game. It was bloody awful. Taxi eighty eight out.